Okay, so I'm, I'm down here with Ted, as I said before, and we've uh, we've got this ITAM 10. We've had a look at yes. it, and it's going to be saved. It's a, an interesting mixer, this one. It's um, that's one I haven't seen for 50 years. So, <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, I'm just trying out the limiter and see how that works. Oh, yes, look at that. It's working fine. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm very excited about getting this. This is, up, yeah, I think we can get this one back to um, back to uh, a good state of repair. Certainly usable. Um, main thing is to get rid of the, uh, the the crunchiness and the noise and the nastiness on the pots. And uh, the the faders will, will require a bit of cleaning. And um, hoping, hopefully, I won't have to replace replace any of the faders because I um, I'm not sure how many of these I've got in stock probably only one or two that's gonna be but, fine Ted that's gonna be fine but uh, and you're telling me that the, you made these originally for a friend of yours who had a uh, well, tape recorders uh, ITAM uh, was the name of um, uh, of the company uh, and in fact it w it's the company that turned into studio spares oh, right. okay. that was the chap who, okay. who started Studio Spears, actually his previous company was in Eton, um, just down the road from our factory in Windsor. Um, and um, we made a few mixers specials for him, and this was one of them. Right. Um, and uh, Barry Lambden, that's right, that's the name of the guy. Um, and uh, he went on then, He after he, um, I, I don't know, he sort of, extended his company and decided that it would be a good thing to um, start selling uh, all sorts of professional gear and um, called it Studio Spares and uh, that, that went on to be very successful yeah but um, this is yeah this is a, a good old mixer it's the same same circuitry as the H28 Mark II but with all the extra facilities on mm. it the extra switching and um, but the limiters are particularly good. Um, they're they're really something, uh, and they're I've in fact used even now I've used the design of the of these limiters in a new design of mine, which is the um, which is a um, a mic amp in the five hundred series. Right, and this um, is the prototype. You this is this me, was yeah. the prototype. This <clears> is the prototype of the uh, what will be called. Um, it will be called the 503. Yeah. And this is the 538 stereo compressor, right. which again is um, is like um, it's like a squashed down version of the old Joe Meek SC2. Right. Fantastic. So uh, Fantastic. And it's quite a compressor that. I'm sure we're going to be looking forward yeah. to seeing yeah. those for sale. Yeah. That's that's on the on the front page of the website now. Oh, actually, right. on the, on the TF Pro website. Fantastic. Yeah. So, you must have a look at that. 